Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters in this video we'll be talking about a very disturbing sign of Kiyama of the end of time the judgment day so stay tuned you have seen this footage before it is from Netflix they created a show lower your gaze sorry for the scene and they called this the Messiah means the Dajjal and they have portrayed a man to be the Messiah who came to rescue the world who is known to the rest of the world Muslims non-Muslims alike as the Antichrist the Dajjal why I'm sharing Netflix why I'm talking about Netflix and Dajjal to begin with the answer to that question is very very simple here my sisters now what Netflix is doing I want to pause this what Netflix is doing right now they are not happy by promoting the Dajjal and creating a new narrative of their own but also they are now what they're doing is they are creating the children of the Dajjal how that is happening number one is by targeting the children by targeting the children what happened the Netflix is now producing shows like Jurassic World Disney cartoons and also shows like cuties and they are showing it to the kids the children to promote the idea of filthiness evil and to indoctrinate their mind with this poisonous movies and shows number two how they're doing it they are doing it very subtly it's hard to get noticed by an adult so if you have kids at home you know they're watching some netflix show right kids are watching netflix show an adult will not supervise they're not gonna be a you know sh sitting there to watch what the kids are watching right this is something takes time when children are left alone all alone and they're watching it what happens is that they come across homosexuals kissing each other and as a result these kids are believing that it is okay to be homosexual because Netflix is telling us so number three dear ones I want to make mention of Saudi Arabia they promote all kind of filth singing dancing partying mixing <laughs> at the same time you know what Saudi Arabia is doing right now they are restricting Netflix they're telling Netflix you guys cannot bring all these TV programs or these shows to our country that goes against Islamic principles and values how ironic it is when something is benefiting them financially like bringing celebrities from outside new celebrities so the Arabia seems to have no problem but the moment they're really not getting that revenue from a streaming giant like Netflix they have big problem <laughs> This time what happened is Saudi Arabia is telling Netflix once these shows were published for example Jurassic World Saudi Arabia went to Netflix and said hey stop you can't do this because it has homosexual sin so why you ask to stop a Munkar when you are at the same time promoting another form of Munkar this is absolutely hypocritical number four point dear sisters Netflix is trying to challenge the Islamic narrative of everything starting from the Dajjal starting from morality and everything we have seen I, have, I just showed you the video you have seen how they created this Messiah Dajjal who came to the world at the same time what Netflix is doing they are openly promoting homosexuality they are redefining as if to our kids what morality means Netflix will not stop until they will indoctrinate all of us all the believers with their filthy mindset in April I want to make mention of this uh, in April cinemas in Saudi Arabia they did not screen the film Doctor Strange so I want to give you how filthy Netflix is Doctor Strange it is a, is a show I believe in the multiverse of madness and they have scenes of LGBTQ so the Arabia said you cannot show this show in our country so what Netflix did they said okay we are not gonna listen to your request instead of saying okay I will apologize they said Netflix said to the government no, no 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 we are not gonna do anything about this scene where you have seen a you know a woman kissing a woman if you want us to believe and not screen this show in your country we'll do that but we will not cut out the portion where you see this kiss 
after the animated film Lightyear, which featured a same-sex kiss, so this is another animated feature, was reportedly banned in the kingdom and the United Arab Emirates in June. Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, I want you guys to be a lot more stronger, stricter. Don't bow down to Netflix at all. Now, this is not only the case looks like with Netflix only, this is also a case with YouTube. What YouTube is doing, they're promoting quote unquote inappropriate adverts that violates Saudi Arabia and Islamic values. And so now, so the government is saying, oh, again, YouTube, what you guys are doing, you're putting ads that are very, very anti Islamic. You need to stop it. Dear my sister, my last point is that unfortunately, fortunately, whichever you look at it, our own Shuyukh today, Yasir Qadi, Omar Sulaiman, a lot of these celebrity Shuyukh, they are promoting same sex marriages. They are coming out with Ilhan Omar and all of them ganging up, teaming up together, promoting that, well, we need to protect these people's rights. What? Really? This is exactly what they're doing, dear sister. Because when the Dajjal comes out, do you know that there's going to be thousands of ulama of this ummah that will actually follow him? It is very, very unfortunate that our own people are contributing to this field that we should be staying away from. So when I said in the beginning of this video, you know, the coming of the judgment day, coming of the Qiyama, we have to understand that the Dajjal is here, he is active, he is changing the Aqidah of the believers. His problem is not America or anybody, even Saudi Arabia, he's not, he's not, his not problem is Mecca and Medina even. His problem is believer. Anyone who believes Allah Azza wa who has faith, Iman in his heart, that's what the Dajjal cares. The Dajjal doesn't care where you live. So we are living in that time where anyone who wants to keep their faith intact, whoever wants to protect their Iman, you will find it so hard. Go to internet, you will be tempted with so many things and you just pray Tahajjud. You are just a good believer, but you will not be spared by this Dajjalic system that is continuously chasing us, continuously challenging us to change our faith. As Rasulullah Sallallahu he said that a time will come when the Dajjal is here, a Muslim will go out thinking he is a believer. When he comes back home, he becomes a disbeliever. How that happens so fast, we can understand now. It could be through the internet. Even people looking at some articles written by ex-Muslims or communicating with an ex-Muslim can change their mind about Islam just like that. The lightning bolt, right? <laughs> so, dear and sisters, this is the time when we ask ourselves how we can protect our Iman. Equally important, how we can protect the children who are very much vulnerable and exposed to this the Jalik field. We are living at the end of time. Let's make dua and inshallah stick at the, as a jama and fight this evil together. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.